Good morrow, fellow travelers, and welcome to a new video. Today, I'll be making a mushroom hat. I know I'm a little behind on this trend of mushroom hats because I didn't see them at the time and I saw them and I thought they were really really pretty so I looked up some mushroom hats and I looked up some mushrooms and I got inspired by two mushrooms that I saw on Pinterest they're just so pretty blue and the white it's so pretty so I decided to make one. I have a lot of lace I have a lot of cardboard why not so here's this hi <laughs> Here's this board that I shall make a hat out of. I was gonna make this with car uh, mainly hot glue and fabric, but I'm too much of a perfectionist, so I'm gonna paper mache the hat so it stays together better. Uh, and that's all I have to say about this, so let's get started. So here's my giant piece of cardboard. I'm gonna use my hat that you guys probably seen in the background of my videos sometimes. I'm gonna use this as like a circle template, but I'm gonna make the hat a little bigger than this. a bigger circle than this. You probably can't see it because it's so light, but it's right here. But now I'm going to go a few times bigger. That's huge. That's okay. Now time to put it out. Small hole in the middle. I need a small hole to trace. I don't have a small hole, so I'll just copy this. Just pack you in like that. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. Alright, let's find the middle. We're guessing here. Alright. Ta da! And then another in an inch out. This is not even, and that is okay. And now I need a ruler, and I'm going to make tiny little darts. I don't know how many, but we'll see. Probably should have done this before I did that, but it's okay. I never explained what I was doing here, so I made a bunch of pizza slices and then I cut tiny triangles out in between. So you're essentially making a windmill so you can then bend them and make a dome piece. I finally finished this. Oh my gosh. That took so long. Now what I'm supposed to do is fold these so they connect easier. Oh yeah. Now that's what I'm tracking about. All right, let's do it. Oh wait, I need tape. I've secured the tape. Let's get to it.
Well, this is what I got. Um, it's not great. It's not great. It's uh more domey than I thought it was gonna be. And for some reason, if you can see, these are shorter. Like what? So, oh, and weirdly, the duct tape is not sticking on the cardboard. I don't know why. It's so strange. Like, and this time I'm not mistaken, this isn't non stick aluminum foil, it's cardboard. But the duct tape isn't sticking on it, so that's great. Like, basic strength. Anyways, so I think I might shorten this by cutting a little bit off to make it, would that make it more domey? No, I might like shorten it a bit and reinforce the seams with hot glue. Yeah, I definitely have to even it out because it's, it's not even... I've reinforced some of this, uh, some of them, all of the seams with hot glue. And now, since there's like pointy spots and gaps and stuff, I think I'm going to glue some batting over it to soften those spots up. Um, because I decided that I'm not going to use paper mache because I just don't feel like dealing with glue. I'm sorry, that, that strawberry took it out of me. I don't want a paper mache right now. I'm going to glue batting just over these so it softens them. And then I have this blue fabric that I have and I'm going to try and glue it over this. I don't think I said how I got inspired to do this mushroom cap. I wanted it to be like a blue mushroom that got rained on. I don't know if mushrooms are like, what's the word? Hydrophobic, I think that's the word. They don't like water or they don't take it in so it just stays on top and rolls off. I don't know if they're like that, but um, that's kind of my thing. So I bought these gems that I will glue on top to make it look like water droplets. And then I'm gonna put this on the underside and maybe dangling off, I don't know. And it's a cool little strand of what looks like water beads. And it's really cool but I will be painting this because I kind of want it like an ombre like purple blue dark purple blue kind of thing so that's what we're gonna do so on to the batting fabric is now attached. It looks good if I do say so myself. I like it. Ta-da! Next is to... I think next I'm going to paint it and while I wait for that to dry I'll work on the bottom part and like the, the head piece which is part of the bottom part so the bottom part, the gills, the bottom so I think that's what I'm gonna do next. Cause this looks good. I really like it. And I'm glad there's not too much overlapping. There is here, but that's fine. But yay! Now it's time to paint. Or, hmm. Actually, maybe instead of painting first, I'll work on the bottom side so I can just paint all at once. Yeah. 
think that's what I'm gonna do. So for the bottom, we have to go back to the cardboard. Ow! <laughs> we, have, we have to go back to the cardboard, trace the bottom of this, and cut that out, and then measure my head with cardboard, cut that out, stick it to the other piece. It'll make sense. I'm sure you've already seen a bunch of people make this, so you already know what's gonna go down. Let me cut some strips out to measure my head. Let's see if it'll fit. <laughs> it doesn't! I need it longer. It'll feel like this, so at least I have that. Alright. There we go. See, that wasn't that hard, was it? Let's see. It's giving me some ease up in here. I'm gonna cut it off a little before so I can have some overlap. I never want to buy duct tape again. What? Come on. Oh my gosh. Maybe I just don't know how to use duct tape, but. No, sir. No, sir. And one more just to secure it. See, look how big my head is. Oh my gosh. Ooh. It is a little loose, but I'm doing that just in case. I'm doing that just in case I have the fabric of the gills come up in here so I still have space to put it on. Now, I have to fit these ones in the front. So let me tape this in the back or in the front, whichever. <laughs> that one kid from Chowder. <laughs> Anyways. This looks so much easier when other people do it. It is indeed. <laughs> I finished it. So together now it fits nicely but not too tight so now I'm going to take this second circle that I cut out put this in the middle and then cut a hole out put this like under it so it can sit on top of my head okay that was a dumb idea see this is why I don't use box cutters because that happen let me get a band-aid <laughs> I've patched myself up let's get back to it I'm surprised I cut that so good wow that really worked I'm actually so surprised that worked 
I don't know why, but it's me, so yeah, it's a purse. Oh yeah, this looks like an army hat. I don't know what it's called. You know that the sergeants wear? I have two veteran parents. You would think I would know what they're called, but I don't. But you know, you know. But nah, we're making, oh gosh, a mushroom. Oh gosh. <laughs> A mushroom. Let me tape and whatever else I have to do with this. And oh wait, should I put the gills on first? I don't know. Nah, nah. I'll put this in first. Yep. That's what I'm gonna do. Oh, oh, my knee. I think I bought a better hot glue than I have been using. This one takes longer to harden, but it also hardens really strongly. And it's on. This is such a cute project. I want to thank whoever came up with doing a mushroom hat so much because this is this is so fun. Ah, oh, when I put the whole thing together, like yeah. It's a little bigger, like taller than I wanted it. I wanted it more flat. But that's okay. I really like how this is turning out. It's super, super cute. Hee hee hee. I'd be a mushroom. Now I have to add the gills under here. And then after, th ooh. And then after that, I think I'm gonna call it a day. And then tomorrow we can start painting and adding accessories. Who's excited? I'm excited. Cause this point in time, I don't know how this is gonna turn out. But you who clicked on the video already know how it came out because of the thumbnail. Or you skipped to the end and you didn't see any of this. But you still know before I do, so. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of the video. So first thing to do for the gills is to make strips and hot glue them on. I'm only using this yes sh sheet that I probably thrifted because I don't like how it feels and I'm probably not going to make anything out of it. Nice. And again. I want to do that again because it's satisfying and just in case I need another one. Ding! Are we ready, folks? Nice! I've always wanted to do that. Alright, here we go. was a lot of work oh my gosh and it's not even hot glued down oh my goodness and I have to do that on the other half oh wow whose idea was this It's not the prettiest thing I've made, but it'll do. Don't look at my mess. Don't, don't look at my mess. Hi guys, and welcome to day two. I finished the gills, the pleats. It looks okay. It's all right. And then I remembered I have this sparkly tool and I never knew what to do with it, you know? So I decided, wouldn't it be a little funny, just a little, just a little quirky if I pleated it on top to see just what it looked like, you know? I glued it on and it looks really pretty. Now, I may regret doing it with glitter tool, but that's okay. 
Okay, that's okay. All for the the sake of being fun and whimsical and mushroom. So that's what I did last night. Finished this today. Hopefully we get to the paint part. We we should. But what I'm going to do? What am I gonna do? First, I'm going to cut like a another strip of fabric hot glue it around the edge and then put it inside so when I put this on my hair won't be sentenced to the raw edges especially the raw edges of this lace because it's a little harsh and then we have another conundrum I should have just did this the normal way why did I make a dome like this why did I make it separate because I'm extra and I didn't like really draw my circles out well so it's all my fault the other conundrum is that they don't really match up well. Like, but does it look awesome? But anyways, oh, it's the clips in there. That's what you're hearing. But they don't really match up well. See, there's gaps. I decided I won't use hot glue because I want it to stay on. And I will probably catch the edges of this fabric, this fabric, so I can sew it on so it will be at least a little secure because we don't want a mush mushroom falling off, especially after all this hard work that I'm doing, especially with this tape. I'll do that and then we can get on with the painting and the other decorations. This part of my hands are sore. <laughs> Did you know they could get sore? They're so sore. Cutting cardboard manually is not fun. Cause now there's sore. And my cut still hurts. <laughs> Help me! Let's go. This is going pretty well. I think it looks good. But we'll see when we wrap back around and see if it will work the whole way around. I think I need to put a thimble on. My thumb is red. <laughs> yeah, let me put a thimble on. We're done. She's sewn together and it looks very, actually it doesn't look that good, but you know, it'll be covered by trim that I might put here or whatever else I decide to put. Oh, I'm so happy it looks so good. And it came together surprisingly well. I wasn't expecting that, but now the whole thing is together. So, Next, before we can get on to the painting and the decorating, I gotta cut a strip out to go inside so I can cover these raw edges. Ready for some more satisfying fabric ripping? Oh yeah, oh, oh yeah. What do we like here? We like already hemmed edges, finished edges. So I don't have to do it myself. All right, here we go. And again. Does it have to be on a certain... Oh, okay, I got it. I'm just weak. All right, here we go. Shh. Ta-da. Honestly, I kind of want to leave this open so I can store stuff in there. Take this, for example. We put it inside. And it's in there. If I ever get to go to a renaissance fair, I'm definitely using that. <laughs> Storage inside. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm gonna use that. Having pigtails in was a bad idea if I'm gonna keep putting this on. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, let's get to hot gluing. Time. 
time to paint our mushroom. The plan. I showed you my inspiration mushrooms. <laughs> my inspiration mushrooms. That sounds funny. I showed you my inspiration mushrooms and those are blue. Ruben throw. But I'm gonna add a little purple to them because I think that will be very pretty and to complement the blue. Absolutely. So that's what I'm gonna paint on top of this. So it'll go like it'll go like a gradient of a little bit of purple to the dark blue and that's it maybe a little lighter blue on the edges but that's my plan for right now and I think that's all the painting I'm gonna do just on top I get a start I think I like how this looks. It looks really nice. I like the gradient on it. Nice. And kind of the spotty purple is nice too. I think I'm okay with this. Ding. <laughs> I think I'm going to speckle white spots onto it before I just let it dry completely. So I'm gonna do that real quick and then I'll let it dry. And tomorrow, finally, I could be done and just put decorations on it. Is my camera tilted? Oh well. I'm gonna speckle white paint on it and then let it dry overnight. I could stop here and it'd be good. But not yet. Not yet. We're not done yet. Okay, people. I'll see you guys tomorrow. glare it's dry here it is I did kind of forget that paint dries <laughs> I forget that paint dries no I forgot that it uh, dries darker than what you painted but um I still think it's pretty the colors it still fades like I wanted it to so it's all good it's all good here's how it's looking on i think it it's really nice it feels great it's not squeezing my head so that's nice so now it's time to decorate oops i already showed you earlier what these are these are going to go on the underside like that and i think it's so cool i'm coming towards you because <laughs> it's like water beads and it's I love that. Same with these. Like on top and it'll be like a whoop! It'll be like a water bead. And I think that'll be really pretty. Also, I have lace here. See, my local thrift store has great stuff. But um, I have lace here and it's going to be kind of like, like, you know, I bet you've seen it on other people's uh, hats. It'll be like that. So let's start decorating i think i'm gonna work on the underside first let's see this is the front and i don't really want one in front of my face so i'm gonna do it to the side like that let's see how long i want it how long should it be I think we're getting somewhere now. Instead of rain droplets, well, it, it does, but it looks more like rain droplets that got caught on a spider web. <laughs> I don't like spiders. I think it looks really pretty. Look at, like, look at all those. I like it. I think um, I'm gonna do more. Hopefully I don't overdo it and cause myself to not like it, but I think I'm going to do more because I feel like there's empty spots. 
that's that could be filled with more. Like you see how these are kind of overlapping here, but these don't really have. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm gonna add more strands. waiting for glue to dry. This is so fun. While we're here, tell me what your favorite Disney movie is. <laughs> My favorite is Lion King. Mm. And if you don't like Disney, what's your favorite animated movie? I have too many. I think Shrek 2 would be top contender though. It's, it's, it's a, a wonderful film. I love that movie so much. So this is when I started getting into the zone and not explain anything. So I'm here to explain you with the voiceover. So here I am adding trim to the edge of the mushroom, which I had planned to do before. So there you go. And then in the next clip, I'm adding the marbles or what are they called? The gems, whatever. Uh, and I'm adding white spots on top because, uh, I thought it was missing something and that's it. And then we will go to the reveal.